Hello everyone, welcome back to Z Physics. Today we're going to be explaining Lenz's law. In order to do so, let's imagine that we have a low magnet over here that has been placed next to a coil. This coil could be made, could be made out of copper or out of uh, any other conducting material. Now, let's imagine that we move this magnet to the left. So let's say that we start moving this magnet. What will happen next? So, as we are moving this magnet to the left, there will be a changing magnetic flux linkage. So, as I'm moving this to the left, the magnetic field changes, and this will be inducing an EMF into the coil. Now, the question is, once we have an induced current in the coil because of Faraday's law, because the rate of change of magnetic flux is changing and that's inducing the CMF, which way will the induced current go? Is it going to go this way or is it going to go that way? And this is where Lenz's law tells us the direction of the induced current. Lenz's law states that the direction of the induced current is so as to oppose the change producing it. What does that mean? This means that if we are producing the current by moving a magnet which is facing the coil with its north pole, then there will be a current which is produced in the coil and that current will produce its own magnetic field which will also have a north facing direction. Notice that according to Lenz's law, this induced EMF will turn this solenoid into essentially an electromagnet with the north pole of the electromagnet facing the north pole of the magnet. And this will oppose the change producing it. If the magnet was flipped and this was south facing it, then the current will also flip direction. Also notice that in this case I have used the right hand rule as applied for solenoids. So imagine you're holding a solenoid with your right hand, really important, otherwise you're going to get the opposite result if you use your, la if you use your left hand. So we're using our right hand. Now fingers are going to curl as shown in the direction of conventional current. If that's the case, the thumb will provide the direction of the magnetic field, in other words, the North Pole. So if we have a solenoid in which the current is going down like this, then the North Pole will be located on this side. Okay guys, now here's how to explain this really fascinating phenomena. As we bring the magnet inwards, we're doing some work. We're applying some force and we're moving at a certain distance. We're applying some joules. And this work on the magnet has to equal the electrical energy that's been produced in a way in the coil. Therefore, the end of the magnet cannot be a south pole. If this north pole here was a south pole, then this magnet will instantly be attracted and energy will seem to be created out of nowhere. But this is not what happens. It is in fact repelled and thus energy is conserved. Whereas if this was a south pole, energy will not be conserved. So what will happen if we suddenly decide to move the magnet backwards? Well, if we're moving the magnet to the, to the right, then we will need to oppose the change that's producing it. So this will need to be a south pole. Okay, folks, well, hopefully this makes sense. If there are any questions, please let me know. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.